point. Mm -hmm. But look at the flourish and the expressive uh, elements of communication that went on in the era of the handwritten letter. In the era of the handwritten letter and handwritten correspondence in general, the words would be written with the flavor of the meaning you're trying to convey. And it would influence the flourish or how big the first letter is or the, the curly cues underneath it. And so it was a dimension of communicating that went beyond the simple definition of the words you were writing. But all that went away with the typewriter because every word now comes out identical on the right. page. Same font, same size. Yeah, exactly. And then more of that went away in the era of texting, where big words are just abbreviated into letters. Um, you know, see you tomorrow is the letter C, the numeral two. Evidence that pure texting is completely inadequate to communicate is the flux of emojis that have come down. <laughs> right. So instead of writing how you feel, you just put a picture of how you feel. Well, that's, that is like the supreme height of illiteracy, where you just put pictures <laughs> of... Uh, it's, <laughs> hieroglyphics, again. <laughs> is it is it Pictionary? I mean, like, what is this? Right, it's back to hieroglyphics again. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching. If you want to see the full episode with Neil deGrasse Tyson, I invite you to click the link in the description. For more awesome interviews with incredibly fascinating people or inside knowledge from the best in influence, persuasion, negotiation, and nonverbal communication, please hit that subscribe button.